Hello and welcome to a new video on this channel, Sabi from Code Revolution here. If you don't know me already, I create WordPress plugins and sell them on Code Canyon. So if you bought anything on uh, Team Forest on Code Canyon, you know that you can make a refund request for the item you purchased. And if the seller agrees, he can refund your money. So to make a refund request, you can go to this URL. I will link in this video's description the URL that you should go to for making a new refund request. Uh, note that you should exchange the URL, the Code Canyon part of the URL, with the respective marketplace from where you wish to make the refund request. So this can be Team Forest, Code Canyon, Video Hive, Audio Jungle, Graphics River, Photodune, or 3D Ocean. So, it, for example, for Team Forest, it is teamforest.net slash refund underscore requests slash new. However, I will link, as said in this video's description, all the possible refund request URLs that you can uh, use. Okay. So note how this refund request works. So after you created this refund, uh, after you access this page, you can select a uh, item that you purchased, main reason for the refund. You can select a reason for the refund and the description. Please be as detailed as possible in the description for the refund requests so the uh, item author can understand why you wish to get a refund he will get back to you and uh, you, uh, you he can offer his help to solve your issue and if he does not uh, manage to solve your issue he should agree and approve your refund however this is how i do it so if i get a new refund request I try to help the customer and try to understand the reason behind the refund request. And if I manage to solve the issue of the customer, <clears throat> the customer says that it is okay to delete, to uh, disable the refund request. And if I don't manage to solve the issue of the customer, I agree and I make the refund for the customer. Okay. so. Uh, this is it, so you should be as detailed as possible and the uh, uh, reason for the request should be a valid one. A valid reason is something that is not working, that is not as described and something that... So mistaken purchases are not quite a good refund re request reason, in my opinion. Okay, so... Yeah, this is all for today. I hope this helped you. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a great day. Bye bye.